Hey, Shelly, good evening to you. Council President Alex Burton wants to move $250,000 from the Evansville Police Department's general fund into the Affordable Housing Trust Fund. And he also wants to move an additional $250,000 from the um, public safety local income tax to the police department's budget. So essentially, there's not going to be a big change in EPD's budget. And joining us now is Council President Alex Burton. And Alex Burton, thank you so much for your time this evening. So kind of explain to our viewers, what does this mean? Obviously, not going to be a big impact on EPD's entire budget. No, absolutely. It's uh, less than 1% of the actual uh excess funds that are existing. Um, this, this measure actually would be doing less harm than some other council members have actually uh, proposed, which some council members have proposed that 3% of the general fund is cut in its entirety. This, in fact, this in, in its part uh, affects the police department and is not what we want to do with our uh, police uh, officers here in town. We want to make sure that they are protected, but we also want to make sure that funds are directed to our families so that in times of crisis, we can also increase the amount of revenue uh, that generated for our city. And President Burton, why decide to move those funds into the affordable housing and kind of make this shift on the budget? Uh, yes, uh, moving those funds into the budget um, really just speaks to the um, amount of people that we have in our community who um, are having challenges as it relates to housing. What better way to send a message to our community than providing housing for those who in need um, while also um, doing what we can, doing all, all that we can to make sure that our residents are protected and feel safe. Alrighty, Council President Alex Burton, a busy night for you ahead. We are less than 30 minutes away from the Evansville City Council meeting here. Mayor Lloyd Winnicky's spokesman did tell me earlier today he has no comment at this time. We're going to be here throughout the evening and bring you updates tonight on Eyewitness News at 9 and 10. But for now, live at the Civic Center in downtown Evansville, Noah Alatza, Eyewitness News.